are equal for our anniversary, okay? <laughs> Praise God. As you build the wall, listen to this. You bless yourself. Mm. You bless yourself. Mm. By building that wall through prayer, by building that wall, I'm talking about, I want, I want to clarify this. Building the wall simply tells you building the church. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. Because the wall of Jerusalem, Jerusalem is a picture of the church of God. Mm. And the wall is simply the church. Mm. So building that wall is you building the church. Mm. You are protecting the people of God. This is what the Lord is telling us. And in the book of uh, Nehemiah chapter 4, we, we, we saw all of these things. In chapter 4, we see Sanballat threatening the people of God. They, threat, they, they, they are threatening the people of God. And let's look at the power of God against all of these op opponents and all of these obstacles. And there's six principles that I have gathered from the book of Nehemiah chapter 4. But I'm only going to touch two today because I have to I have no enough I have no enough time for to cover the six. But I truly believe that there's gonna be a lot of voices that will say to you in building that wall that you cannot make it. That you cannot walk victoriously with God. There's gonna be voices to discourage you. That you cannot overcome the obstacles in front of you. How many here are facing obstacles in front of you right now? Mm. You know that obstacles could be could could be a, a health problem, could be could be like your status could be your relationship with your husband, with your wife, could be what's what's going on inside your job, in, in where, where you work, could be something that's going on in your children. Those are the obstacles. And I believe every one of us facing some kinds of obstacles in life. Mm -hmm. And this is what the Israelite people, this is what ne Nehemiah was facing, the Sabbath. One time I shared something about Sambala to others. And then after just a few hours, this person called me and said, Pastor Big, could you just please pray for me? I said, What happened? The Sambala that you're talking about is in front of me. He is attacking me. <laughs> and he was telling that Sambala because the person didn't understand what Sambala is all about. Pastor Big, can you pray for me? He's attacking me, and all that I desire, hallelujah, is to be a blessing to this company. Amen. But the Sambala, <laughs> you know, the Sambala is happy. Huh. In fact, most of the scholars believe that the meaning of the name Sambala means strong. It's true. Mm. Man, at first, I didn't like that. But I realized, isn't it true that the enemy is strong? No. <laughs> the enemy is strong against you. Uh -huh. He is strong. But against you with God, he is no much. Uh -huh. Amen, yes. He is no much, but by yourself, Yes. You are nobody. Mm. But because you are connected to the one who is greater mm. than what Nehemiah, mean, what the enemy could do, mm. then you become a more than conqueror. Amen. You know yes. More than conqueror, yes. More than conqueror is the wife of Pakyang. <laughs> could you imagine? Pacquiao, for so many months, he's been woke, wake, wake up, he wake up early to jog, to do everything, to practice, to exercise, to fight, to fight all those, all those sparring partners, you know, and 
Yao went to the reed and started hitting his opponent. One round, second round, third round, the blood, cut, all of this thing. And then Pacquiao won the fight. Mm. He received the belt. Mm. He received the money. Mm. Went home and gave the belt to his wife. <laughs> gave all the money and the ring to his wife. She don't do anything. <laughs> but now is the calculator. The wife is more than calculator. <laughs> Jesus is the calculator. We are more than calculator. Amen. Yes, we are the bride. Jesus did everything. <laughs> His blood was shed at Calvary. Amen. Yes. He has all these punch, kick, mm. and all of us we didn't do nothing. Mm. Amen. And Amen. No one in this group today. Hallelujah. Who did something? <laughs> In replacement of Jesus. Uh -huh. No one. But yet, God calls us more than calculator. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He gave us the crown. Yes. He gave us the, the healing. Jesus, yes. All of this victory is ours now. Hallelujah. Because you and me are like Pacquiao's wife. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Powerful, isn't it? Amen. If you just know your position before God, you will love to see and serve the Lord. Amen. Amen. You will love Woo! serving the Lord. Jesus. Can you imagine? You start having boldness to pray for the sick person. Mm. You start having confidence. In praying for some families and people. Why? Because God gave you the weapon. Mm. It's high time, listen. It's high time for the children of God, this modern conqueror community, to stand and use our weapon. Mm. The name of Jesus. Amen. The blood of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. It's time to yes. use it. How you will please the Lord. Because we fight not again blessing God. Mm. In Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12 says, Our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the power of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil. In the heavenly realm, the victory is ours. Mm. Victory is yours. Amen. Yes. You are yes. a victorious king. Jesus, Lord, Hallelujah. Many people think the walls will build themselves. They won't. Many people think building a wall should be a priest. It won't. It's not just gonna happen just like that. Mm. Many people think everything when I'm doing it God's way is going to be easy. It won't. Mm. Because you're gonna struggle. Mm. Because we have an enemy. Yes. I want all of you to be aware.